Welcome Pokemon trainers. Welcome to my family friendly live stream and to all that have come, Alola. So today, um, I discovered something when I was, you know, breeding for, uh, trying to set up some Pokemon for competitive breeding and, you know, I have a number of things that I do to, um, you know, try to make it go faster. Um, and I discovered something that just blew my mind and I looked it up and uh, nobody else seems to have noticed this. Of course, I don't know how many people actually, uh, you know, try to breed their own Pokemon instead of hack them in. But, you know, I'm a purist. I like to do everything in game. So um, uh, let's let's get into it. How's everyone in the chat today? Um, Tails Kit, great to see you back. Darth Shadow Exposed. Uh, welcome. I see your first time. Um, folks, I encourage you to click the thumbs up button and um, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free. So uh, why, don't I, why don't I show you what I've got in mind today. Um, the end result of, um, of this breeding exercise is to have a competitive uh, ready um, or almost ready uh, Roserade and also a tan growth. And um, Roserade comes from Roselia, as you may know. Tan growth comes from uh, Tangela. Both of th those Pokemon are not available um, within the game unless you trade for them. And then, um, of course, you know, breed them up to make them the way you want. So, um, Let's let's get into it. Let me show you what I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to take this absolutely, you know, from the top and uh, show you what I've got going on so far. I might also actually adjust my screen for just a minute, folks. Hope you'll bear with me. I, I know I was a little late getting started and thank you for your patience. So, um, yeah, I just like I'll be able to see everything much better. <laughs> with a brighter screen, which maybe from your point of view, um, the way this broadcasts probably won't, uh, won't make any difference. So let's, um, let's just have a quick look at the team. Uh, the Talon Flame is just there because it has flame body and that's going to help me. We're going to start off the uh, breeding um, with looking at um, at just a plain old everyday execute. Doesn't matter what the ability is. Uh, this is one of the executes I had laying around in the box and it's got some cool moves, but it really doesn't, these moves are completely irrelevant um, to what we're doing. So what the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to get the moves on it that we want. And I'll show you, I'll show you how to do that. It's really, it's, it's blew my mind how easy this was. Um, and then here is a, um, a Turtwig, uh, and the Turtwig is going to be like a grandparent um, because it is also going to have a move. It's a, it's a female Turtwig that's going to receive a, a move from, um, from the Execute, um, at, uh, ex which is going to become an Executor. Executor. So um, this, is, this will become more important as we go through this. So... Uh, once again, here is the, um, here's the execute, here's what it's got, it's a male execute because uh, we, want it, we want to teach it some moves to breed um, forward. So with that, let's just go right ahead to, um, uh, I'm playing Pokemon Sun, but this also works in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Um, and I'm just going to go to um, Mount Lanakila because I've gotten that far in the game, of course, in this case. Um, you know, if you, if you want to get a move that the Pokemon can learn by level up, uh, typically you would think, oh, I'll just, you know, I've got to take my level one Pokemon, level it up till it gets the move. But actually, that's not always the case. So you saw that my uh, executor is level one. So I went to the um, Pokemon Center on Mount Lanakila, and here's my level one executor. And she's the move relearner. And look at what, look at what it can relearn without ever having leveled up. Uh, it can learn 
um, from the movie learner uh, moves that it wouldn't learn until it gets, like in the case of the move I'm looking for, uh, until it gets to, you know, level 18 or 20 or some of these you, you can't get until you're a very high level, you know, 40s, 50s. So uh, in this case, um, all right, the move I'm looking for is not here because, hang on a second, just a minute, folks. Thanks for your patience. Uh, give up. Yes. So the move I want, um, I want it to know um, is not available. It's not on the list uh, for moves that um, execute itself can know. Hang on. <laughs> for some reason, I'm typing the wrong buttons here. Um, all right, so so you can see um, that um, that this is just an execute, and in order to get the move set um, for an executor, we've got a for, um, available from the uh, move relearner lady. We first have to evolve it. So luckily, um, uh, execute evolves with a leaf stone. So you can just get at it this way. Go into your bag. Because I'm far along in this game, I have an awful lot of junk in the bag. But um, here we go. So here's the leaf stone, um, and Execute can um, use it. As you can see, I have my screen switched around so that you can see a little bit better. Let's switch back up to the upper screen. All right, so Execute is evolving. And again, it's only level one. And it does. It has not yet learned uh, the leaf stone move. Well, it, it cannot learn the leaf stone move until it becomes an executor. And as an uh, once it becomes an executor, it can only learn. Um, I'm sorry, not leaf stone. Excuse me. Uh, seed bomb. Seed bomb is the move that we are um, that we want to teach it. So we're, I'm just going to skip uh, dragon hammer and so forth. If that's a move that you want to breed onto a Pokemon in your um, competitive breeding process, then of course you would keep that. All right, so we get out of this, and um, let's go back to let's go back to this other screen, and we're just gonna it's the lower screen. I think it's a little easier to see. So um, you you can see in my um, in the screen that I'm showing to the left. You go over to the lady and you talk to her and she says, would you like to remind your Pokemon of a long forgotten move? And at this point, all we have is a level one executor. So uh, here it is, here's the executor. And she is now gonna show me all the moves that it can learn, not just the moves it's learned already. So Leaf Storm, normally you can't teach this to an executor. You can teach this to an executor by leveling it up. And I think it's like level 50. But um, if you if you have access to this and a heart scale, um, you can learn it right away at level one. And none of the online documentation I could find uh, seems to know this. Like I, I looked on sarahby.net, it did it does not it does not have this. <laughs> it doesn't know that the higher level moves are available. So um, so here's Leaf Storm. Here's why I like it. It's, um, it's a special move, it's grass move, power 130, and um, it, it does have a recoil, but which lowers the user's uh, special attack. So of course it's something that you would want to use wisely. Um, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and replace hypnosis in this case, because the, my goal here is, is only to use a, this executor, uh, this male executor to be able to teach uh, leaf storm to another Pokemon, which eventually will breed all the way on to a uh, Roselia and then a Roserade. So, of course, it costs you a heart scale, and now I can have a. a well, let's go outside here into the, the lovely Lanakila weather. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and check um, that. How our executor looks, still level one, of course. And uh, switch back here. So here is, um, I'm just gonna put it at the top of my list, Leaf Storm. This is the move that I wanna teach. Um, I wanna breed it onto 
the next Pokemon. So um, you can see this executor will be good for other things as well. Uh, the Pokemon that I am going to breed it onto is um, a level one Turtwig, which is, um, you know, you need a male and a female to get the move onto the tur Turtwig. The Turtwig has to be female. Um, and the um, Pokemon that holds the move, in this case the executor, has to be male. So um, that's what we'll do. Now, um, Turtwig, I think also, uh, can learn, can also learn a move, um, but th but this is not this is not the time. So let's let's go back to the um, the Pokemon Nursery, and we'll start the breeding process. And we'll switch to the upper screen, of course. All right, so now one of the other things that um, I've learned from experience, and, and again, it's not something that you see uh, in much of the you know other videos about Pokemon breeding, but this really shortens the amount of eggs that you need to get before you know you're happy with um, with the egg stats. So even though this is primarily about um, so far, we're starting with the egg egg moves. Um, a little tip is before you put anything into, uh, <laughs> before you put it into the, um, the nursery, I highly recommend, because it makes a huge difference, I recommend that you um, use Pokemon Refresh on, <laughs> on both of the Pokemon that are going in so that they have, um, you know, say, let's say three hearts, one heart even is fine. But um, I'll give it a rainbow bean, so that'll um, quickly give it a, a whole lot of hearts. Um, it seems that the more um, affection that your Pokemon have um, before you put them into breed, um, that the I'll just say the healthier the eggs are, the better IVs. Um, you have better luck, so to speak, if you're trying to um, get um, all quality IVs. Um, on your Pokemon. There's things you can do to control it. I'm, I'll talk about those momentarily. So here is the female Turtwig that is going to go into the daycare also. And again, i um, going to give it a rainbow bean and get its affection up. Hey, Super Mario. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rainbow beans are absolutely broken. I like the way you put that. Um, I, you know, people that use them are aware how cool they are in battle, but a lot of people don't realize how awesome they are for breeding. So there you can see we're all the way up to um, three hearts of affection for the Turtwig, three hearts of affection for the Executor, and now this is going to really, really make everything go uh, much easier um, when it comes to um, how, how good, it'll be fewer eggs to get, to get the eggs we want. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and give the, hang on a second, let me have a quick look, uh, summary. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, it's not going to make a huge difference, but I am just going to throw the, um, Destiny Knot onto Executor. Um, and let's see. Where are we? Where is my Destiny Knot? It has a Destiny waiting for it. And that's to be held in the daycare. Ooh, okay. Um, all right. That means... Let's go out of here. Let's go and get the Destiny Knot out of the box, out of the PC, so to speak. I think I have it sitting on another Pokemon. Um, yeah, Destiny Knot's on this guy, so just drag it over, put it on the Executor, and as I say, these first couple of Pokemon, uh, it doesn't really matter because we're whenever you're breeding, um, you start with breeding for the egg, egg moves first, 
then for uh, the IVs, then for remembered moves, and then after you've got your IVs all s sorted out, you breed for nature's last. But uh, we'll go over that uh, more when we get to that point. So, leave the Pokemon. Which shall I take care of? Well, we're putting in the Papa, Papa Executor that has our uh, move, the egg move we want to transfer is Seed Bomb. We want to get that onto the Turtwig at this point. And the next one is Turtwig. Okay, come back again after a while. Um, and I believe I have this all right, but I always just double check, make sure that everybody's compatible. They don't seem to like each other very much though. So they will still breed. It just means it'll take a little longer um, for an egg to be created. Uh, I've found that uh, when you get this message, um, pretty typically the first couple of eggs seem to take a, while, take a little bit longer to um, uh, be created, but then um, it, gets, it gets into a rhythm. So um, initially, we don't really care so much about IVs. We just want to uh, get a, we want to keep collecting eggs until we get a, um, until we get a male turtwig. And all of, all of the turtwigs that appear in these eggs should have the, um, the seed bomb. Uh, egg move from the executor. So as you can see, the fact that they don't like each other, just, just the first few eggs are going to take a little while like this. Um, I am at the point in the game where I have the oval charm. That definitely helps eggs uh, appear sooner. And I also have the shiny charm. Um, but uh, when it comes to breeding, all of that makes a lot of uh, much greater difference when the uh, two Pokemon have different trainer IDs, and in this case, um, both of these Pokemon have the same tra trainer ID, so that's why uh, just for the first couple of moves, it's going to take a little bit longer. And as you probably know, it doesn't matter how fast, you don't need to go around fast, fast, fast like this. As long as you have orange showing, uh, then it's the same number of steps. All right, so, uh, oh hey. Your Pokemon was holding an egg. It's not that much of a mystery. <laughs> they like to say it's a mystery. So we'll just collect a whole, you know as many eggs as we can carry, and um, then we'll hatch them until we get a male Turtwig, uh, so that we can continue our sort of um, competitive breeding string. And again, the focus on this sort of live stream tutorial in the beginning is going to be on um, all the various shortcuts uh, that we can bring into play so that, um, you know, so it doesn't get too terribly boring. Um, but I, I was so, so excited to find this um, heart scale shortcut uh, because I originally, earlier today, before I figured that out, I was actually leveling up the executor you know, by putting it in Poke Pelago to get it up to level 50. Um, and that was, you know, that takes a long time. Uh, another thing I could have done, of course, is, um, you know, gone through like the Elite Four again or something. But this is just easy and fast. Okay, so here we go. We've got another egg. We'll, as I say, we'll just keep collecting them. Uh, Super Mario says, honestly, I'm hoping there's a shiny that pops up, fingers crossed. <laughs> Me too, Super Mario. And, you know, one of the things I've discovered about, you know, having a, a really great five or six IVs, um, ditto. Five IVs, ditto is usually fine for several of them. Um, is that if you leave them in the daycare and just use everything with those dittos, um, then they start collecting, like, the shiny luck for you, even though you may be switching out the, um, the different uh, other Pokemon. As long as you leave the Pokemon in there that has the destiny knot. But yeah, I mean, I would be, uh, I would be totally fine with um, one of these eggs turning out to be shiny. <laughs> it's happened to me before. I got a shiny bird mite completely unexpected. 
when I was breeding for egg moves. Um, of course, I never posted the picture of it on my Instagram. A little bit behind, a lot behind, I'm behind my own schedule. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep collecting eggs until we have plenty here. How are we doing? I think that is three eggs, four eggs. Oh, good. No, no, no. up to five eggs. All right. So um, one of the things I like to do to hatch eggs is. Um, you know, this is just a funny quirk, but I like my I like uh, the eggs that I hatch to have an interesting place where they were hatched. So I, there's a bunch of places in the game <coughs> where um, you can run around to hatch your eggs. Um, <coughs> oh my goodness, here we go. Uh, without encountering uh, Pokemon. So the Mahalo Trail Plank Bridge is one of them. You don't have to do much spinning. You can just go back and forth and, um, and hatch your eggs this way. And see, there we go. There's one hatching. And this should be a turtwig. Um, for the sake of the, of the live stream, I'm just gonna take the first male, the first male turtwig that hatches and um, I'll pr proceed to use it in the breeding chain. So, would you like to give it a, a nickname? Not really, but okay. So this is a male, and I'm good to go. I'm not going to at this point hatch all these other eggs just for the uh, speed of the demonstration. All right. So, let's see what's next. All right, and of course we have another egg. We'll look we'll at that in a minute. So let's um, go and drop off. I'm just going to drop off all these eggs that we don't need at the moment. Put them there. It's as good a place as any. Yeah. And what do we have? Let's have a quick look at this turtwig now. What's going on? Did I not put the move? This is this this makes it look like I did something really silly. I have a feeling I I might have clicked the wrong button when we were at the um, at the move relearner. So I'm going to check on my um, executor and uh, make sure that it has the egg move because this is this is like. You know, my bad. Got to see what's going on here. All right, so let's go. This is funny. Looks like, yes. <laughs> there are an awful lot of eggs. It's kind of funny. Okay, take good care of it. And let's go do a quick save and check to see if the executor uh, has the egg move or if I press the buttons too quickly uh, when I was at the move relearner. Okay, let's have a look at executor. I'm looking for seed bomb to be on it. Now, I thought I had this all planned out, but you know, sometimes I, in my haste, okay, uh, oh, all right, I, I added Leaf Storm, oh, that was so funny, I was thinking about Leaf Storm, but uh, Seed Bomb is, well, there's actually, yeah, two of them, uh, let's go, let's, let's check something, so, um, let's go to my favorite, Sarabai, Dot net and let's see if I can find which find hang on guys just trying to get my computer to cooperate with me slightly all right um, here's execute and here is executor and let's center it 
and so you guys can see what I can see and it gets down to it learns leaf, uh, leaf storm and um, there's egg bomb where's and here's seed bomb seed bomb means that that it can be learned by the movie learner so in my in my enthusiasm I uh, picked up one of the moves from the move relearner on my level one. I didn't have to go to level 47, um, but we are going to go to uh, back to the move relearner and go get the uh, seed bomb. Uh, so let's go back to this screen. Okay, we'll just go out. Sorry, we, I could have done that when I was there before. But uh, we'll do it now. And just pulling this up. Uh, Super Mario says, I got a shiny Eevee while getting Eevee evolutions with a shiny Umbreon. Never evolved it and kept it as an Eevee because there are too many choices. <laughs> True. Karai Hiroma. Oh, yes. Nice to see you. <laughs> Your musical, were you, were you um, acting, were you performing in a musical? Or were you, um, were you creating a musical uh, with digital media? I, I'm really glad to see you, you both and, and welcome back. And I'm glad to see the new people in the chat as well. Um, let's go ahead and go to the Move Read Learner. So here we go. Um, all right. So we'll just run over here. We've got, we got it in the party. Long forgotten move. So again, um, I know I'm repetitive, but sometimes that's the best way to um, switch my screens around here. What move would you like to remember? And um, here's here it is, seed bomb. So the executor is actually, it's only level one, but it's able to remember. Um, let's take out synthesis since that's a, a TM. Um, it's able to remember moves it hasn't learned yet, you know, um, the level up moves. So that is, that's new information for me. That was not anywhere in the research and I'm so excited because it really saves me a lot of time not having to level up uh, these Pokemon um, to, just to get the egg moves that I want to use for breeding. Hang on. Um, just going to show off the executor again. Has there been any trouble since last time I was here? <laughs> Karai. Uh, no, uh, there's been no trouble. Um, which is in my stream, which is a nice thing. I, I, so far, so good, keeping my fingers crossed. Okay, so now um, our daddy executor has um, two really powerful moves that it's going to teach uh, forward that end up eventually on our Roserade. So Leaf Storm is a special grass move. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Leaf Storm is a special grass move, which is power 130 and Seed Bomb which is um, physical move power 80. So this is just really good. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, Karai, that, that, was, that, was, that was, you know, a, a, few, a couple of problem people that haven't been back. <laughs> I think it was just trolls. Um, and so you are an ensemble member in your musical. Well. Congratulations, that's, that's so nice. Um, music uplifts everyone, so thank you for being a performer. Um, that's just, that's huge. So many people get great, great pleasure and comfort out of music. And live performances are just always, always really uplifting. Um, okay, so now we're going to go back and put this executor back in and continue with our competitive breeding. So here we go, executor, leave, leave them there. All right, 
So let's get back to doing some eggs, some eggs that will have what we want. They don't like each other. Yes, and I need to make sure I don't have the um, the bogus one. Yeah, this is not the guy I need. So I'm just gonna put my little extras down there, and out we go. Oh, also these two eggs are not going to have the um, the egg move either. So we'll just move these along as well, and we're off. You are already having auditions for the spring play, which is going to be tomorrow, even though the musical ended a week ago. You would have been looking at the script, but alas, well, procrastination, it's a thing, it's a thing. But, you know, sometimes um, everyone has their own process, their own creative process and their own performing process. And sometimes, uh, in, you know, being inspired in the moment and doing something impromptu or improvisational. Um, it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes that's a really good thing. All right, so here we are. Uh, looking at... What am I saying? I don't want to reject this egg. I'm going to so much trouble to make it. Uh, but yes, back to what I was saying before about this egg uh, breeding chain. Uh, this, um, move, these two moves should get bred onto a turtwig, and we are just going to hatch um, until we get the very first um, male uh, turtwig that has the moves, uh, which all the turtwigs should have the moves now that I've done it correctly. Um, because again, we don't care about IVs, we get all the egg moves first onto the destination Pokemon, and then we worry about IVs in a later step. So even though these two Pokemon are not friendly with each other, some of the eggs um, uh, are produced faster than others, and as we saw um, uh, several minutes ago, sometimes they, uh, they produce twins, like two eggs right in a row. I call them twins, because a lot of times their stats are really, really similar. Um, when two eggs come one at, right after one right after another like that. Um, but yeah, it can be a little stubborn when um, it says that the two uh, Pokemon in the nursery don't like each other much. That's mostly because they have the same trainer ID, but they're different um, Pokemon. Oh, hey, surprising news. Let's be surprised. <laughs> Why not? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm silly. Get back to the right screen here. All right, there we go. Round and round until the nice lady crosses her arms or we hatch a male turtwig. The rest of the eggs I'll hatch later. We'll see if they're any good for something else. Alright, so here's a nice turtwig. Welcome to the world, baby. Baby turtwig. And we'll just have a quick look at the gender by... We won't necessarily... Okay, so it's a male. I just tap it and it puts its name back in. So I don't necessarily have to type anything. So we'll just take that for our breeding purposes, and um, again, this time I'll show you what I think should be right. Uh, yeah, so it's got seed bomb. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It, it got one of the moves and not the other. That's all right, because we have a process here. Um, I am fascinated by all of these things. So we're going to just dump in the rest of the eggs and then start switching a few more things around. So I'll put these in the PC. I don't think I got a shiny. I'll look at it again. I mean, the turtwigs are a little tricky to tell. No. Phew. 
<laughs> I, I, I'm an easy mark. I'm an easy mark. Oh, well, so, okay. Yes, I have a shiny um, ditto uh, that I brought forward from, um, I brought it forward from Pokemon Silver. Uh, and that, actually, um, I made it in Pokemon Yellow, imported it to Silver, saw it was shiny, and then used the transporter. Um, so that's, that's a, there's another whole story about that. And I, I did show how I did that in one of my uh, videos that's up on the channel. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's just talk a little bit about this guy. This guy is a male. He's got the desired move. And we want to now, let me just check my notes so I don't do things out of order because that was a silly mistake I made the first time. So it's got Seed Bomb and we are going to breed this with um, a Roselia, a, a female Roselia. And as you can see, Roselia here does not have the move, but we I've streamlined uh, how to do this. And so that's why I'm calling it Speed Breeding. Um... You have very energetic Pokemon. That's I think they're trying to imitate what happens when you pick up your children at the daycare in real life. If your kids have been bad, they say, oh, you have such energetic children. All right, so let's take out both of these guys. So these are now the parents, or more like the grandparents, of the Pokemon we're going to end up with. And just for the sake of uh, being organized, I'm going to put the, the these two parents uh, back into uh, the box. I'm going to take off the Destiny Knot from the Executor. Held item, take it. Okay. So, here we go. So these are the grandparents. In this case, we had the executor and we had the female. And the female, this female Turtwig, made this male Turtwig. Now, this male Turtwig with Seed Bomb is going to breed with Roselia, who doesn't seem to know much. Um, so that's, that's next. Now, once again, I'm going to do my little trick that I discovered also, which is that by putting the guys in Pokemon Refresh before you breed with them, see, that guy looks like it's good, but it doesn't have any hearts up at the top because I, uh, this particular, uh, Roselia, um, I transferred in from another game where I, I had bred it from a Rosalia. I had used Pokemon Transporter. Actually, I got it from Oras, the original, the grandparent of this one, because this, this one was bred in um, my other Pokemon Moon game. Maybe I think, uh, Ultra Moon, actually. All right, so here we go. Rainbow beans, make this guy happy and make it um, fertile, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. Um, you just get better babies if you feed them beans. <laughs> feed, feed the pregnant, the pregnant Pokemon beans, or the soon-to-be pregnant Pokemon. That's, there's something weird about that. Don't know how to say that. All right, and same thing for the daddy. We've got, uh, Mr. Turtwig with our move, and we are going to give him a rainbow bean. Nice, nice, uh. And here he goes, jumping up and down, getting those extra hearts of affection. We'll give it some musical notes of enjoyment. And just a quick review. So that's what it looks like uh, just before I put them into the daycare. This gives you better luck uh, when it's assigning um, IV values. Um, in this case, we're not. I'm not going to even bother with the destiny knot because, again, these are just grandparents, uh, so to speak. They're they're in the chain of breeding, but they are not main event. 
So here we go. We are going to leave Papa Turtwig and Mama Roselia. Nice and nice. Okay, so um, we'll run outside and of course we have an egg right away, <laughs> which is always kind of fun. Um, and let's see what she says about them. Are they going to get along? They're doing just fine. They don't seem to like each other very much though, even though of course they made an egg right away. So I, I think the, the designers of this game definitely have a sense of humor about these things. And we're off. All right. Um, what we're going for here is a Roselia, um, and this would be a male, we're, we're going to hatch until we get a male Roselia with the egg moves that we want. doubled up um, on with some of these egg moves on the turret wig, but it's okay to do, do, do it this way. Um, th this makes it clear where each move comes from. I'll explain more when, when we uh, when we have a, a hatched uh, Roselia. Okay, let's see. Alright, I guess we'll get one more egg and then we'll go hatch them someplace fun. I think in this case I'll just um, hatch them up on uh, Mount Lanakila because uh, if any of them are the male Rosalia, I'll be right there back at the move relearner lady that can teach moves that it hasn't learned yet. Like moves that are in its level up move set. I think that's one of the um, things that really hasn't been communicated yet. And as, as I say before, I'm still I'm still happy from this morning when I discovered that because that's a huge shortcut to not have to um, level up um, mo uh, Pokemon to get moves you want when you're breeding. If you have access to Heart Scales and um, uh, the top of Mount Monokila, and this is all possible to do. Uh, before you beat the Elite Four. Of course, in this game, I have beat it already, uh, but this technique I'm, I'm uh, describing here. Okay, so let's see. Is this a male or a female? Okay, it's a male Roselia. Let's, um, let's have a look and see. Let's have a look and see what its stats look like. Or not stats, but what moves it has. Make sure it's doing what I want it to do. Okay, so it has seed bomb, which is good, and we have a bunch of eggs, which I can hatch later, but don't need to hatch just yet. Um, okay, let's go and... I'm just thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking that I skipped a step. All right. Well, 
not exactly skip the step. We may end up, I'm gonna put these eggs down here. We may end up hatching these eggs um, and looking for a female, but at the moment, um, at the moment, we're going to take out uh, this shirt wig. Because what the, the point here is that we want to get um, Leaf Storm onto this turret wig as well um, as Seed Bomb. So. Yeah, so, so let me explain what I'm, what I'm referring to here. Um, seed Bomb is on the turret wig because it was bred onto it. Cry, Hiroma, what's going on? You're exclaiming brilliantly. <laughs> what's going on? Okay. An Elekid just called in a shiny Electabuzz. <laughs> Good for you. That's that's huge. That's huge. That's that's oh, that's like a double benefit. You get. In your SOS chaining. So, um, so your SOS chaining your Elekids, it called in a shiny Electabuzz. Um, are you in Pokemon Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? And I know you're going to be careful <laughs> trying to catch it. <laughs> I think, I just think shinies are so much fun because they're, they're surprises and they're lovely. Lovely surprises, even if you're trying for them. All right, let's go get the other, the other egg moves that I want on Turtwig. So we had we had talked to this lady uh, about the the um, uh, executor, but now we are looking at the Turtwig that's level one. It has one egg move. But it has, yes, it has access to Leaf Storm of, on, its, on its own. So again, we're using a few heart scales, not too many. But this, this is huge. Okay, so Karai, you're doing your shiny hunting in Sun and Moon. Um, congratulations all around. Hey, the Radiant Narwhal, uh, welcome to the stream. Um, earlier, you say you got a shiny... Um, on Dratini on the first SOS. Oh, what? <laughs> what? That is so lucky. Oh my gosh. All right. I think I've got my breeding pair sorted out here. We have got, yeah, nice. So now we have, we have our level one turtwig with two egg moves. Uh, well, seed bomb is an egg move that it learned and then leaf storm is a heart scale um, move we learner move, but it's going to be you. It's going to become an egg move on this Roselia, which, as we can see, well, we need to put it on a female Roselia because this is a male Roselia with seed bomb. Ultimately, we want a female that has that. So uh, we're just going to go back here and ditch this um, male Roselia and stick it in the box and let's go back now and put this guy back in the nursery. Uh, Karai says, um, GG, this is actually my target in the long run. Oh, cool. Uh, you see on the subreddit for shiny Pokemon, this month's goal was a shiny Electabuzz. You're going to SOS for an Elekid, but you got this instead. <laughs> that is huge. So you don't, yeah, you don't even have to um, evolve an Elekid. And if you got a shiny Elekid in your SOS, you then would be like living Dex time. Woohoo! Um, each of the evolutions would be shiny. But so that's very, very, very fun. Congratulations, uh, Karai Hiroma. Very nice. Nice for you. So here we go, uh, back to the nursery. And um, as I say, this, in my opinion, is all 
being able to use the heart scale um, to learn uh, moves in the future <laughs> um, is much faster, uh, in my opinion, than trying to level up a Pokemon to get that move. So, what did I do? I'm so silly. It's not where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go back to the nursery. Yeah, I just like that mover learner lady so much. <laughs> Time to Google moves. Yeah, really, really. Well, I um, I I think there are some pretty interesting uh, move sets that can be had. And um, if you have access to the mover learner, when you find the moves you want, don't be shy about using this method uh, to speed up your, um, you know, making your shiny Electabuzz as cool as it can totally be. So um, let's go back in here. We'll double check. We want this guy in the daycare. It's definitely got it's got the moves we want, and we're just going to double check the Pokemon refresh. I just took it out of the daycare, so it shouldn't be um, shouldn't be low. Although my first one in my party, which has Flame Body for hatching the eggs, um, this guy needs. What's a bean? Being cranky. So, uh, Super Mario says, the only shiny I got in Gen 7 was a shiny Ariados in Ula Ula Meadow during the playthrough. You just kept on chucking Pokeballs at it because it's all you use. And you got it for full health. Well, that's nice. That's, that's, that's an accomplishment. Pretty good. Uh, JR7, welcome to the live stream. Um, how are you tonight? Uh, you look, are you looking for VGC competitors? Um, I'm, I am actually uh, preparing Pokemon, um, showing ways to, to con get egg moves and IVs onto them uh, in a little more rapid way. I myself um, am not participating in the VGC, but someday I hope to have a team and be able to be ready. Um, all right, so we're all good. Let's put this guy back in the box. We're at this point. We're uh, developing egg moves um, onto a female Roselia, which eventually is part of a breeding chain process and a uh, um, that will turn it into um, eventually give us a great Rose Raid and a great um, uh, Tangrowth from Tangila. <laughs> Cry says, level 27 means that it knows light screen, electro ball, thunder wave, and shock wave. So, I uh, don't have to worry about recoil. Very good. And you caught it. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. That's very exciting. I love it when people catch stuff during the stream. Any nickname suggestions for a male um, Electabuzz, shiny Electabuzz for Karai, who just accomplished that? Hmm. Nicknames are a thing, obviously. All right, so now we've got... We're on our way, hatching some... Hatching some good eggs. So Super Mario, she caught she caught her Electabuzz, so it's already evolved. Um, I presume you're talking to her. If you're asking about um, the uh, competitive. Roserade, yes, I'm, I am I'm first making the Rosalia, then we'll get the IVs, and then we'll evolve it. There's going to be a bunch of evolutions in this step. So, right now we're collecting the eggs. So Karai says you probably will not. You're calling it an SOS exclusive Pokemon. You want to keep him as he is. <laughs> um, he is pretty special. 
to be sure. Okay. So here we go. So, yeah, I mean, the fact that it's taking, you know, a little bit on the long side uh, for these eggs to be made, uh, it would go faster, you know, first of all, if they were different um, trainer IDs, and then they would go a lot faster if one of them was from a different region. Um, but in the early part of your breeding, one doesn't always have uh, that kind of luxury, you know, if you're trying to get moves and you have a, a chain of different Pokemon uh, to pass the moves along to the destination Pokemon. Let's just see where we are here. So we've got three eggs so far and summary uh, appears. Okay, so it'll eh, take a little bit of time. Okay, your nickname for Ella Kid was going to be Shocket, <laughs> combining light, socket, and shock. <laughs> uh, but now you're dumbfounded. Uh, Super Mario says, uh, oh, you kept your shiny uh, buizel. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can always ask Reddit. Well, depends how much of a pun you may want on your, on your name. You could use a thesaurus for words that sound like other words or have double meanings. That's the old fashioned way. Um, JR7 says, do you know any online Pokemon community? Um, oh, you mean for um, coming up with nicknames? Twitter is actually pretty decent if you put like a hashtag in your um in your tweet uh one for um nicknames and the other for like uh shiny pokemon um and just say you know suggestions I, i've had a lot of people that um will see it because of the hashtags will give you suggestions hopefully they would be good suggestions all right let's see what we've got here how far we are in our chain. So here's our Celia. And hopefully it has both Leaf Storm and Egg Bomb, or Seed Bomb, excuse me, not Egg Bomb. Seed Bomb's better. And it would be great to get a male. So we've got a female at the moment. Uh, which we might end up needing if we're, actually, we probably will need it to um, start doing a little bit of IV breeding. I'm not going to go all out on that just for the um, limitations of time while I'm streaming, but I'll, I'll at least show the method. So I'm happy that this uh, Rosalia has Poison Point, um, which is contact with the uh, Pokemon, they poison the attacker, it's sort of nice. So there's our Egg Move Seed Bomb, uh, 80 power points. Uh, physical move and 130 on Leaf Storm. All on our level one Roselia. So now um, I, I'm just going to I think I'm going to ditch the rest of these eggs and move into the um, just show do a little bit of demonstrating how the um, you know for people that haven't actually gone through this process how to. Um, Hang on a second, I'm trying to figure out where to put all these rogue eggs. Um, I'll throw that one here. Uh, so, let's, let's, let's have a look. I might end up choosing a different ditto. So, because I have Beat the Elite 4 and I have the judge capability, I can see that my lovely Roselia, female Roselia with my egg moves, um, has... It only has one perfect IV, so we're definitely going to um, improve that. And I'm going to put a marking on it, which is not standard. This is not the way most people mark them, um, but 
you know, I think people should feel free to use markings on their Pokemon that need, make sense to them for the way they're going to use it. So I tend to use the uh, blue markings for um, an IV value that's either good or very, uh, you know, uh, pretty good or very good. Um, I tend to leave it gray if it's uh, decent or no good. Um, and I put it pink if it's best or fantastic, because fantastic is um, only one um, uh, IV point down from uh, best. And for my own purposes, uh, that's okay. Whoops, got it in the wrong place. And also I have my own, you know, my own thing. Um, so I, I tend to um, assign th these markings to be HP, attack, defense, speed, and then special attack and special defense. It's just, it's just my preference, but people should, you know, feel free to mark them or not mark them. I, I do this because it makes it visually easier for me. Um, when I am deciding what kind of ditto I want to mate it with. So uh, this ditto has got uh, four perfect IVs and a pretty high IV in defense and uh, nothing special in uh, HP. So um, this is probably not the first choice of a ditto I would use. So I'm going to go over and look at my great dittos that I brought over from um, I brought over from generations one and two. So I think here, again, do not worry, as you may know, do not worry about natures. When you're breeding for a competitive Pokemon, natures are last on the list. Um, so right now, I really just need any Pokemon, um, any, any ditto that's got most of the good IVs. That would be good. I would probably have to rebreed it to get um, a perfect, hang on, one other option here. So, let's see. Yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I, I may have to breed it some more to get a perfect IV um, on the attack unless I get lucky. So, let's go on out of here. Oh my gosh. I guess I should go to another box. Well, all right. Back to my explanation. So we all know that uh, you want to put, when you have a, um, a ditto with great IVs, you know, three, four, five, or more IVs, that you want to uh, put, whoops, that was silly. You want to put a destiny knot on it. Um, so at least five of the IVs between the two will pass. And when you have Pokemon Refresh, you have a better, um, you, it, crazy as it may sound, you have a better chance of passing that um, to the baby. Now, I have a perfect IV on the other Pokemon for uh, special defense. And um, if my ditto was weak in special defense, I could use the power band and um, have the Pokemon with the perfect IV in special defense hold it. Um, but I, that can, strangely enough, slow it down. So in this case, I am going to put them both in as is. I'll check them in Pokemon Refresh. Uh, JR7, sorry, sorry I'm not paying that much attention um, to the chat. Uh, how long have you been a Pokemon fan? Um, well, I am a granny and that means that I was alive and playing Pokemon back when they first came out. So that's a really long time. Is that 20 years? Uh, give or take a little bit, a few months. So, um, yeah, I am a Pokemon enthusiast. I played for years and years and years, and then I had this strange, when Black and White and Black and White 2 came out, I had this strange reluctance to try them out. And so, um, I didn't, I didn't play Black or White, or Black or White 2, or X or Y. Um, until um, Omega Ruby and Alpha, Sa Alpha Sapphire came out. Um, so it's really funny. There's, you know, there's just these gaps of Pokemon that I haven't really played with that I'm just, you know, having fun with now, uh, using them in um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and Pokemon Sun, Ult and Pokemon Moon. 
Now, all right, so back to this Pokemon refresh. We're getting this ready to really make great Pokemon babies, baby Pokemon. So we're um, buffing it up, buffing up the uh, RNG um, for the um, uh, for the stats. So it, it's just, I, I highly recommend uh, getting as much affection points on your Pokemon before you put them in the nursery when you are breeding for IVs um, with better Pokemon that has Destiny Knot. In this case, uh, that's, that's how many uh, affection hearts I've got on my Ditto with the Destiny Knot. So even one is better than none, but a bunch of those hearts really make a difference um, and that's kind of why I call this speed breeding, because um, the fewer eggs you have to hatch to get what you want, the faster you you get to your goal. All right, so first I've got to take these guys back, because they were just part of the chain to get the uh, egg moves to where I wanted them to be, and I no longer need these two as part of this competitive breeding process. And I'm going to make sure that they don't aren't carrying anything. I'll put them in the PC in just a minute so that uh, everything's clear. Come back another time. Oh, I will. All right, so this is the Rosalia that I just got back. Those two, um, those two I don't need. So let's put them into the box with the rest of the Pokemon grandparents. And let's get back to the box that I want. That's not it. I think this is the box where I've been stashing, stashing things. Um, there's an awful lot of junky eggs. Hmm. All right, so don't need this guy, don't need this guy. We are working on Rosalia here, and ditto. So, off we go. I'll just briefly put these guys in the daycare and hatch more eggs. Pokemon games are definitely one of the best RPG games in the history of games. <laughs> Super Mario. I agree. Now I know there are many really fine um, role-playing games out there. The thing about Pokemon is they were able to keep going forward wonderfully uh, with each um, improvement of the hardware that it could run on. And they, you know, all the way back on the 8-bit machine, the very first Game Boy, they got an awful lot of gameplay and concept into a very small programming platform so um they've they've just really maxed it out and i think one of the reasons that um they're not making games anymore for the 3ds is they just realized that the hardware um just uh on the 3ds um just cannot you know screen resolution can no longer do the games justice and i think that's why they they're just really focusing on uh the future their future with uh, switch and I know we're all waiting for it. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Um, all right, just having a super quick look. All right, so everybody's in there. And we'll make sure that we put the right ones in. The Ditto and the Rose female Rosalia are doing fine. They seem to get along all right. So that's better because um, uh, the Ditto has a different trainer ID, um, which is natural because it's from a different generation. So we'll just do a save here. I don't think anything terrible will happen to my power supply or my game, but periodic saves are good. They're good. As you can see, I'm not playing Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Um, Rotom, uh, Roto is not, Rotom has not been begging me to uh, do the um, Roto, Rotom, Roto Lotto. Okay, so surprising news. Here's one of your eggs. So I think um, pretty much the goal here is to get a Roserade, um, female or otherwise, 
uh, a rosalia female or a male uh, that has great IVs. And that is going to be a matter of um, um, just hatching eggs with the ditto um, and looking for, you know, using the uh, IV checker, the judge capability, and looking for uh, the best IVs. Now, um, for the sake of, of uh, the stream not getting too terribly long, what I'll do is um, I'll hatch a few eggs, take the best one, and then um, rebreed that egg with um, uh, with another ditto that has uh, IVs in the place where that um, particular Pokemon may end up having uh, a weakness. Just to show the, the, the strategy. Tails Kid, you're back. Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know what part of the world um, different folks in the chat are from, but um, I know certainly in Europe it's like a ridiculous time for anybody to be awake at like four in the morning or something, um, and three in the morning. So um, East Coast, uh, United States, North America, not bad. It's 10 o'clock. West Coast, seven o'clock. Um, I don't know if we have anybody from Australia because it would be like... 10 o'clock on the Monday morning and either at school or at work or uh, so forth but um, I'm glad for the folks that are lurking and um, maybe not in the chat and I'm glad for the people in the chat because I'm having fun I would be doing this anyway <laughs> so it's nice to have company all right let's see how we're doing here a quick look. Okay, so we got a bunch of eggs and let's just fly away and go hatch them. As I say, I just uh, have this thing. So these are going to be uh, Rosalia's um, and I can hatch them anywhere. So just for fun, I think I will hatch them um, on um, Mele Mele Island and uh, on the Mahalo Trail Bridge. So that's a nice, nice place to run to hatch eggs without necessarily having to wear out the circle pad on my 3DS. I can just kind of go back and forth. And then of course the Pokemon has like a little cute thing on its uh, description. And for where it hatched. It doesn't always have to say Paniel or Nursery. Alright, so here's one. We won't necessarily be able to see what the IVs are while we're hatching them, but at least... Um, there it is, Rosalia! And I'm just going to not nickname anything at this point because I can always rename it when I get my when I get my final one when I evolve it with its famous moves to a rose raid. Another one. So we have two so far. We have three to go. However, I am going to have just a quick double check. I. I guess I'm one of these nervous Nellies that, you know, I need to make sure the Pokemon are have, have the things I want. So, okay, so these are coming forward. We've got two males so far. We don't know what their IVs are, but they should certainly be better uh, because they're breeding with a good ditto. And we'll check it all when we get them all hatched. I think that's one of the things that um, when you're hatching eggs, um, 
when you're doing IV training, it is good to check them. I, you know, I'd say check your eggs every, you know, every five or six um, eggs. Um, just because you'll save time. So, sometimes you'll, you'll get a surprise with, you know, much better IVs than you thought you could get. Um, also, sometimes it's weird. Sometimes the first, I don't know, like the first 10 eggs that a breeding pair make um, may seem to have like better um, stats than, um, you know, like the 20th or 30th or 40th uh, egg that the pair breeds in a row without um, being taken out of the box. It, it's a little weird how that, how that works. I don't know if they're it's supposed to convey, you know, that the Pokemon are real and they get tired of making eggs after a while, <laughs> like a mom with too many kids. Uh, I used to be a mom. There's no such thing as too many kids. I mean, you know, the kids might feel like there's too many, but... <laughs> Families are good, right? They can be good. All right. Uh, hatching another Rose Roselia. What happened to Badoo? So, in order to get a Badoo, turns out that the mommy Roselia has to be holding a rose incense. And if you don't, if it's not holding rose incense, then, um, then there you go. It just gives you Roselias. And when you're trying to get a, a rose raid, then it just saves you, um, uh, one more, you know, one more step. When, uh, Badoos, as you know, since they're baby Pokemon, they cannot breed. So, um, you know, when you need to get uh, egg moves onto them, it's, it's in this instance, it's kind of nice to just be able to um, uh, ha have the Roselia breed Roselias. So, so that's a thing. I did earlier, much earlier today when I was experimenting with all this, I did put some of these um, egg moves onto Badoons, um, and I, I think I will end up giving them away. Um, I'm going to do some, some giveaways of unobtainable Pokemon uh, for, uh, in March when the global mission starts, the GTS. Uh, we'll just have sort of organized um, GTS giveaways. Um, and, and also I'll do, I'll do some, um, direct, uh, trading for my subscribers that, uh, want that. Um, but yeah, the next global mission that's coming up is, um, in early March and, um, it will be how many Pokemon can you trade on the GTS or can they get all of the participants, um, to trade on the GTS. And, you know, typically that means you put in something, you know, a better Pokemon and ask for a more modest Pokemon in return. That will give you the greatest chance of getting the trade through. Um, and sometimes that's really easy. How do you get Badoo? Because you want to hunt one. Um, so, the thing about Badoo and Roselia uh, and Roserait is they are not obtainable in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So you either have to transfer, you either have to transfer one from um, Oras or X and Y um, through Pokebank, or get one from um, Wonder Trade or the GTS, and then basically Masuda method for the shiny. Uh, that's that, oh, and, and IVs or, or moves or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that's the thing about the dues is that they are, I think that's why I'm part of the reason I'm doing the stream. I'm really focusing on Pokemon that you can't get um, just through the uh, storyline of the game, um, and sort of showing how to how to do it and how to get like a really great one. Um, but yes, in, in the process, uh, Masuda method uh, breeding um, is going to use some of the tips that I've talked about so far in my stream tonight or today, depending on where in the world people are. Let's see. Oh, I've already hatched everything. Oh, lovely. Let's go and check out their IVs. Let's go back to the Pokemon nursery, which I unfortunately still call the daycare. 
not the same. I mean, a nursery, it can be for plants, right? If you're on a farm, you could have a, a flower nursery. And I guess in this case, they're using the word nursery for uh, animals or Pokemon, of course. So, here is, I am just, this is way more than I need. So let's, let's just go ahead and judge these. So superior, superior, outstanding, relatively superior. All right, I think I'll start with the outstanding one. Oh, this only has two. No, you know what? I'm going to take a different tack. I'm going to look at uh, the perfect IVs rather than the description. So that's got two IVs. This has got two. This has got two. This has got two. This has got three. All right, so that's that's the one I'm going to play with. I'm going to rebreed this one. Um, and again, I put my own peculiar markings on it, but um, I'm sure people would, well, each have their own strategies for how they designate this. This is the way I would designate, um, you know, for my own purposes, the three perfect IVs, uh, in this case, for special defense, defense, and speed. So that's the one that I am going to keep. And now we are going to do a little switcheroo. Of course, of course, I have to get the egg first. But I didn't pick up. All right, here we go. So we'll put the egg that we're not going to hatch for a while over here. And here's another turtwig that has those same two moves. And Let's see, this was, all right, so this was the turtwig. I move this uh, over. Uh, all right, a couple of things I'm gonna do here. First, we're, we're going to keep improving um, the IVs just a little bit more. So you get the hang of it, you know, for people that haven't done this, but also so I can make a little progress. Um, okay, so a visual is good. So, um, clearly, we want to mate this with a ditto that's got as many good IVs as possible, but if it only has uh, one or two weak IVs, it should be where this um, uh, Rosalia already has good IVs. So, uh, that would mean, let me just think here. Let's see what we've got. This could be okay. Um, I might use this one. Nah. All right, so uh, this has got four perfect IVs and just, you know, to compare, you can see that it's weak in speed, but our um, other Pokemon is good at speed. Um, this does not have a perfect HP. Um, for the purposes of tonight's stream, uh, you know, I can, I can grind that grind breeding later, <laughs> if that's a term. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll just go through this one little bit more of the process and out of the PC. Let's have a quick look at, um, Pokemon Refresh for this ditto. Make sure it's happy. Um, are you going to show off some of those Pokemon in a battle stream? Uh, yeah, I think Super Mario, that would be a good thing. Um, I was going to, I'm planning to do a stream where I give away, um, breed jacks. Um, the, the ones that are less than, than, um, uh, four IVs, I'll just wonder trade. And the ones that are, uh, four IVs and above, I'll, um, do like a GTS, uh, giveaway. But, um... I think that um, 
as far as battling with them, that will be after that. So like maybe in a week, uh, I guess. I really have not been streaming as much as I want to. I'm, you know, doubly motivated to get back, get back into it. I see, uh, Karai, uh, Karai, you finally got um, your nickname request posted on Reddit. Um, well, good luck. I hope I hope they come up with with some entertaining uh, suggestions for your shiny Electabuzz. Anyone in the stream that can think of suggestions for a shiny um, nickname, uh, a nickname for shiny Electabuzz, please post it in the chat or respond in comments uh, later. Homework time, 1019. <laughs> well, good luck with your homework and then hope you have a good night's sleep. Night, thanks for joining us. You hope to obtain your three flare points soon. Woohoo! Well, good luck with that, uh, Cry. Definitely good luck. All right, so it looks like um, I have got to improve these Pokemon. Oh, what did I do? They didn't switch. And let's just switch the screen so it looks a little better. So there we go. Ditto, so happy. And I'll give it the rainbow bean. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I always love to see how the Pokemon move when they get um, an improved um, uh, heart of affection. Because they often do a different dance. So there's that one. Um, so I, I believe this is the Rosilia that we hatched. Uh, that from the that was from the prior uh, ditto, so it has the strengths that it has. Um, I, I could I could grind breed that longer, um, but just for the purposes of showing how I choose, you know, um, to correct weak IVs, I'm doing it this way. I still think it's this is fast, um, so I think we're still meeting our goal for speed breeding. Uh, strategies anyway. Okay, so first we're going to take back the ditto that we're not going to use. And we're, we'll transfer the destiny knot to the ditto that we are going to use. And let's just do that so I stay organized and don't get things mixed up. All right, so here we go. Held item. And now we know that's the ditto that we're going to use. This is not the ditto we're going to use. And let's get the other Roselia. So let's take back the one we're not going to use. All right. So, staying slightly organized here, I'll put this Roselia in, and we'll just temporarily go ahead and put that ditto there, and we're going to do something interesting with this Turtwig also, but for now, we're going to get this guy going, these two. Leaf Pokemon. So, let's see, Karai says, um... This, I guess this is your, your shiny Electabuzz. It's mild uh, nature. The characteristic, unfortunately, uh, is a plus defense, so you guess it's technically no negative stat boosters. Um, let me think about that question for a minute. Um, I think as it gets a little later, I am not multitasking quite as well. Um, leave one more. I'll think about that question as soon as I start running, <laughs> running around in circles to breed these guys. Let's double check. What's the nice lady say? They got along all right. We'll just do a quick save since that's what I like to do. <laughs> Tailskid says, "Name it Sparky." Sparky 
is pretty, pretty sparky name for a shiny Electabuzz. Um, see, here we go, instant egg, nice. So, perfect nature, the characteristic unfortunately is you get an improvement in defense. No negative stat boosters. I think, Karai, I don't understand your question, but since you are getting on to your homework, um, feel free to um, post your questions as you think about that more. Um, once this um, live stream gets loaded onto my channel as a video, you'll be able to add comments. Uh, please feel free to throw your questions in um, to the comment section, and um, various people, including myself, will try to answer them. Because I think this is this is um, group knowledge here, how we uh, look at um, what kind of stats we want, what kind of stat growth is useful on competitive Pokemon. It's nice to have a group discussion. Um, and certainly, of course, there's always the message boards. Okay, Mild is um, up on special, down on defense, but your characteristic boosts defense. I don't think the characteristic uh, makes much of a difference at all. Um, when you've got your nature, um, your, um, the, the, the maximum uh, that a beneficial nature can do to a given stat is um, uh, a... Let me get this right. The maximum is a 25% improvement in the growth of that stat. Um, and and I, 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 I don't really know that a non-beneficial you know, side of that stat, like in this case the uh, weaker defense growth, um, I don't know if it's quite that much. But if you compare it to a perfect IV um, in, in those areas, Remember, perfect IV only makes a 10% difference, so nature is actually more important than IVs uh, when your Pokemon is under, like, say, level 90 or whatever. I mean, it makes more of a difference in the very high levels, but um, for level 50 Pokemon, um, for those kinds of battles... Um, hang on a second. Uh, it, it's not going to be quite as obvious. I mean, in the end, you know, you can end up with your bottle caps and that sort of thing. Let's have a look at how many eggs I've got. All right, one more egg and we'll go hatch. Uh, to be honest, you don't care because you're just a shiny hunter. <laughs> well, aren't we all shiny hunters at heart? Um, yeah, I mean, look, I, some people, you know, care about super competitive battling, you know, at level 100. Um, but... You know, you know your Pokemon is special. <laughs> it's how you treat it. It's what its experience is. Come on, Pokemon are real, right? Alright, so now we've loaded up with eggs. Now... I'm going to say add it to your party and we'll swap out the turtwig but this is the turtwig that we want to check something we want to do about this turtwig in terms of the moves it knows and I'm just going to have a quick look to see where it went so that I don't lose track of it all right so it's the very first one in the box and I should mark it. Yeah, this guy. This 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 particular Pokemon uh, is only used um, as part of an egg chain, but I might as well, for my own purposes, just keep track of um, its its IVs. All right, off we go. We're going to hatch the eggs on Mount Lanakila because. We're also going to go back to the move relearner. And I like running up and down that nice long stretch. Veltrox Viking! 
Hey! <laughs> thanks for joining the stream. I know it's late. Probably other good things to watch, but thanks for dropping by. I'm always glad to see you. It was fun when um, I saw you in the in the Pimp, Pimp Nights uh, live stream yesterday. He's really one of my really favorite YouTubers because, you know, he's lighthearted and happy. Uh, today, we are basically going through the steps for breeding uh, a competitive, or, or at least showing the steps, of uh, a competitive Roserade and Tangrowth. Um, maybe not necessarily the move sets that other people would like, but I'm, I'm showing uh, how to do this in a really efficient manner, uh, which I'm calling speed breeding, because it skips an awful lot of steps. So um, that's kind of the long and the short of it. Um, something I discovered this morning that I did not see anywhere, 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 um, was um, the fact that, you know, when you're in an egg chain, you've got your level one Pokemon, and you're thinking, oh gosh, now I have to level it up to get the move I want. I discovered by accident that um, if you go to the move relearner, you can teach your Pokemon level up moves that it hasn't learned yet. So the move relearner isn't quite, you know, isn't quite um, maybe the right thing. But hard scales now have a, a brand new appreciation in my mind because not having to level po a Pokemon up in order to get it, um, you know, get a level one Pokemon to have a move you want as part of an egg breeding chain uh, is huge. It's a huge time saver. So I'm so excited. I thought, oh, I'll set up a live stream and just do it. And I was still trying to get the pieces together at 3 o'clock. So <laughs> my live stream didn't even start till like 8 o'clock tonight, uh, East Coast time. I'm embarrassed to say, but super, I'm, I'm super having fun doing this because I'm kind of proving something that, uh, that I didn't know yesterday, for example. Experimentation is a wonderful thing. I'm going to just have a quick look here. I will check out these guys' stats, but gender, I guess, doesn't really matter at this point um, for the Roserade. Um, but I'll go ahead and hatch these all and then uh, go to the PC here on Mount Lanaquila and check it all out, check out their IVs. Certainly the stream is going a little over two hours at this point. No, I'm not going to go too terribly late, um, but, you know, uh, competitive breeding is a process. And, um, you know, for people that just have no clue how to begin and think that they just have to trade their socks off until they get the right Pokemon, um, you know, I'm showing not just only how to do it, but how to how to skip some of the steps that may make it uh, seem like it takes really too long. It's all, well, you know, patience, of course. <laughs> but we're supposed to love our competitive Pokemon and treat them with respect and feed them Pokebeans and play with them. Not let them faint or whatever too much. Okay, so I'm just going to skip this naming part, of course. So we're just trying to get these guys hatched. Running around in the snow. I don't know. I'm in the northern hemisphere, so it's winter where we are. So it, it's okay for it to be snowing in the game. One more Roselia. Let's see. Did I hatch them all? Have a quick look. Nickname, not yet. All right, let's have a peek. And all right, everybody's hatched. And we'll go to the Pokemon Center up here and have a look at what we got. Let's use the IV checker. Let's see how many more eggs we may want to grind out. Certainly, I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to get like the perfection um, in this stream, but um, 
All right, so that one has got two IVs, but generally good stats. Got three IVs, four, I'm liking that one better. Here's three, here's three. Okay, I'm just only going to mark this one. And, um, you know, I, I've, set, I've shown the example of, of how to keep going if you want to grind uh, for even, you know, for better IVs than this. But this, this is uh, good for now. No, 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 not release. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Uh, certainly not trying to release my best Pokemon of the evening. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I know we've all released a Pokemon at one time or another that we weren't intending to release. But um, let's just get these rejects. All right, so this guy and this this guy I don't really care what it is but just going to go to the nice lady over here and um, so first things first we are at the point with our Roselia where um, you can see it's got two of the um, competitive moves I wanted seed bomb and leaf storm the next move that I want um, is grass, grassy terrain, grass terrain, and that is not available um, on a Rosalia, but I believe it may be on a Roserade. So let's, at this point, go ahead and evolve Rosalia. And Rosalia is evolved with, I think it's a shiny stone. Hang on. What's going on? What are we doing? Back. Restore. This is, this is the shortcut I use to access things in my bag. So let's get down to the evolution stones and find the one that will evolve. Dusk, oval, dawn, stone, shiny stone. There we go. So shiny stone is what we use to evolve Roselia into Roserade. <clears throat> And here we go, here comes our Roserade. Da, 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 da. Roserade is evolving! Yes, it is. <laughs> I get so happy. Little things, simple things in life, simple things in Pokemon make Granny happy. Oh, look how, look how cool that looks. All right, guys, let's, let's get this. Here we go. Congratulations, your Roselia evolved into Roserade. Learned Venom Drench. It wants to learn Grassy Terrain. Yes, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, forget an old move. Let's see, I'm sure I can give up Absorb. <laughs> oh, we're there. So, Yes, if it wasn't going to, so so on on Pokemon where um, it doesn't give you the option on evolution, or if you didn't choose that option on evolution to take the move, you can always get it. Weather Ball is also really cool. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, this might be something I have to decide later because Venom Drench is very cool, very good for battling. I think I'm going to pick this up later and um, put Weather Ball in. Just, you know, sort of a aggressive Roserade. Dark Kingslayer, hello, welcome to our stream. Be sure to drop a thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you like what you see. What do you need help with? Uh, we've got some really smart people in the chat. Um, some of them are lurking and um, doing their shiny hunting, but ask away. What do you need help with, Dark King? Uh, Super Mario says, did you know that on the 27th it's National Pokemon Day? Uh, yes. Well, so the, it's the 27th or it's the 28th, depending on where you are in the world. Oh, Dark King Slayer, you need a Razor Fang. Interesting that you should ask that. Um, I think you probably, hang on, let me, let me 
let's see, poison sting. No, I'm not going to do poison sting. I need to pay attention. Just a minute. I'll be, I'm going to answer your question in just a minute. I don't multitask well. Okay, keep old moves. This is my soon-to-be competitive Roserade, so we are totally not going to wipe out our hard-earned uh, egg moves with these other these other things. Um, so, if I were you, I would go. We can look. Um, actually, shortly, we can look on um, Sarahby.net and see where the uh, razor fang is. Um, you'll give someone a shiny Entei for it. <laughs> uh, you know, I'd be happy to trade if I have one, and, and I, I actually, you know, I think shiny Entei would be great, but I don't really, um, I don't need it. But if I don't have it, I can show you another way. Uh, the Radiant Narwhal, you've been chaining forever for shiny Wimpod, and to top it off, you just, oh, you're sick. Uh, Radiant, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. Uh, all right, folks, let me just get, um, I'm going to keep my focus here. A bunch of interesting topics in the chat. So, here is our competitive Roserade, at least with the moves I wanted. I wanted Grassy Terrain, and now I've got it. I wanted Seed Bomb, which had to be taught through a, a, a breeding chain, and I've got it. I wanted Leaf Storm, and I got it. And Weather Ball, um, I think it would be fun to have. I don't know if I'm going to keep that in the future. So now, and and I've got it on the type of Roselia, which turned into Roserade, that has the Poison Point ability, which is what I was going for. So um, it's female Roserade. I'm hap hap happy. Uh, I'm going to change my focus for the moment over to Turtwig. Um, uh, and hang on. Don't want to lose my train of thought, dear, dear Pokemon trainers. Um, so let's see how my Turtwig is doing for remembered moves. What would you like it to remember? So I know it's got two of the moves I want it to have. I think I'm gonna give up. Yes. I'm going to I'm going to give up on that just at the moment. So, because we've got the Roserade and I want to my next goal is to get the uh, Tangela. Um, and, and get it into a, um, a, a ten growth with the moves I want. So, Roserade, happy to say, is now king of the, king of the heap. Here is a Tangela. Um, so this Turtwig has Seed Bomb and Leaf uh, leaf storm, which I showed earlier in the stream. Uh, this is also a male turtwig uh, with uh, leaf storm and seed bomb, which I had bred earlier today. I'm going to replace that one um, because it uh, already has the better IVs, which I wanted to. I've already shown how to uh, start um, the the process of breeding for better IVs. So taking a little bit of a shortcut here. Um, and we're going to breed, um, we're going to breed, um, hang on, what am I doing? So sorry, folks. We're, I'm going to breed a leaf storm. I want to get leaf storm from male turtwig onto the female tangela. Tangela, I guess. Um, so, Dark Kingslayer, uh, anyone willing to help you? Um, all right, so you've been chaining for a shiny wind pod. And you want the razor fang. Um, and the thing is, why don't I look in my bag about the razor fang? Otherwise, um, you might need to use a Pokemon with Frisk and Thief and get it. So I'm going to I'm going to switch over to Cerebi.net and we'll look up the razor fang. Uh, all the different guys that can have it. 
Um, so this is sarabai.net, which is one of my favorite resources online. Um, it's put together by a guy named Joe Merrick, who does a really good job of updating it. There's a few things every now and again you might discover if you tell him about them, um, and he can validate it. He'll update the website. Um, but let's look at the item decks and look for the Razor Fang. So let's see, it's called a hold item, as it turns out. It's an evolutionary item, but you can get it from Pokemon that hold it. So, Razor Fang. This is what I do. Hopefully you guys can see this um, on stream. So here's the Razor Fang, and it says that here's it's used for evolving. Um, um, who's this guy again? Gligar. Yeah. Let me go back. And where to find it in Sun and Moon um, is on Wild Pokemon. So um, you can. Uh, SOS chain in Ultra Sun and Moon or Sun and Moon, you can SOS chain for Bruxish, and approximately one in every 20 will be holding a, um, a, a Razor Fang. I'm sorry, is that what you asked? Hang on. Um, razor Fang, yes, that's what you asked. Sorry. Um, lost my train of thought briefly. So you can. Um, when you are uh, SOS chaining um, your Bruxus your, for the Razor Fang, um, put out um, a Pokemon that has Frisk, such as um, Frisk and Thief. So um, you, you, can, you can look up uh, some of the Pokemon that have Frisk. Um, I think I have Frisk on my Pumpkaboo. Um, I think some of the executors have Frisk. I think the executor I used earlier in the stream um, had had Frisk, um, but but that's the strategy, and it's it's um, actually takes a little time, but it's very easy to do because the Frisk will tell you um, if one of the um, Bruxish that come in on the SOS that's called in, that your the Frisk capability will show you if it's holding uh, the Razor Fang. So um, hopefully you can get someone to trade you for it, but if you've got some patience and some time, that's how you can get it in Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon uh, on your own. So uh, I'm going to switch back. I hope that's helpful. And I'm going to switch back to uh, the, main, the main theme in the stream. Um, Let's see. Oh, you're at the beginning of Ultra Sun, uh, Dark King Slayer. Well, uh, listen, um, Dark King Slayer. I would recommend that after um, this, if you don't, if you don't find someone to trade you one, um, after this stream is over and it gets posted on my channel, the Game and Granny, uh, go ahead and leave your friend code in the um, in the comment section along with uh, what it is you're looking for. And someone will get back to you. If no one does, I will get back to you. So I'm sorry that you're sick, and please don't be sad, because you know there's always a way. Um, Super Mario says Butterfree has theft. <laughs> that would be cool. Does but does Butterfree have Frisk? Because it's the Frisk ability that uh, gives you the warning of what the um, SOS Pokemon might be holding. If it's holding something, it tells you. But <laughs> oh, a, a thieving butterfree is quite, quite an amusing concept. All right, people. Uh, what am I doing here? I, I do have a goal, a game goal. So uh, we have Turtwig. We have Tangela. Got to go breed these guys. Breed them together. We're going to get these egg moves. Uh, we made our Rose Raid, now we're going to make our uh, relatively competitive tan growth. If you can imagine such a thing, it's going to have good, strong moves anyway. Um, Alright, so let's get this 
leftovers out of the way here. Leftover eggs, that is. They're probably good eggs, but I'm not gonna check them on the stream. Oh, oh my gosh, look, the minute I go in the door, it must be twins, because there's the other one. Um, Butterfree has compound eyes. It helps raise the chance of Pokemon holding items. Super Mario, I didn't know that, that compound eyes did that. I mean, I, you know, learn something new every day. There's a lot to learn with 800 Pokemon. Uh, that is something that I just uh, never actually... I mean, I, I may have heard it and may have gone in one ear and out the other, but that is really good to know. Compound Eye's ability helps raise the chance for Pokemon holding items. I like it. Well, yes, then you could just simply um, kill each thing with Thief. Uh, and if there's an item, you'll get it. That's cool. It would tell you. Uh, if you want the Pokemon that was holding, yeah, I'll take the Pokemon. I just, uh, well, and check first. Exactly. Um, but you wouldn't, I mean, it wouldn't force you to end the stream, right? I mean, you would just switch your Pokemon out and then check to see if Thief gave you something. Because although it notifies you much of the time, a lot of the time it doesn't. Those, those uh, Thief notifications are not as consistent as the game uh, seems to suggest that it might be. All right, now we're getting down to business here. I'm um, going to get these things out of the daycare. Would you like us to take back everything? Yes. Take back ditto. And I love the way they just slowly go back to get your precious Pokemon. They wouldn't want to rush with your precious Pokemon in its arms. Do you want the other one back too? Of course. I want the other one back. So casually walks away. Back so soon. Okay. So let's put these guys in the box. We've got uh, this. Let's have a look. Here, this is. This was the breeding Roselia that I used to make Roserade. I'll just put Roserade right there so I can remember how I've organized this. And here's my Tankla and this guy. So let's take the Destiny Knot and put it on our very nice Turtwig. And we're gonna put the, let's put our Ditto in here, our breeding Ditto there for a moment because I'm not sure if I'll do it. You think that's how you got Munchlax leftovers item so easy and Razor Claw Sneasel. <laughs> so here's the thing about Munchlax and leftovers. In I, I think in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, all of the Munchlax, 100% of the Munchlax have leftovers. And I think in Pokemon Sun and Moon that Munchlax have, 50% uh, of them have leftovers. But yeah. Um, but that is a very good way to get um, um, Razor Claw for, for um, is Sneasel Razor Claw or Razor Fang? It's Razor Claw, you're right, it's Razor Claw. Um, very cool. So much fun. So much fun to be had. Let's have a quick look at Turtwig uh, Summary. Oh, okay, let's switch this around. So, um, this, this is a five IVs Turtwig um, that I had bred earlier today, but with the same egg moves as I demonstrated earlier. And here is a, uh, a four IVs uh, Tangela, which I brought up from, with Poco Transporter from, um, I think this one is, does, does it say a distant land? Um, I, I think this is from my red, blue, or yellow um, virtual console games. Um, so, what I want to do first before I breed these guys is 
when I have a quick look and see um, with the nice heart scale lady on Mount Mauna Kilo, the move relearner, want to see if there um, is any um, a competitive move for Tangila before it turns into a Tangrowth. Um, see if that is part of what I want here. This might be a fool's errand, but I don't really remember since this was about noon today, 11 hours ago, that I conceived of this uh, whole complicated process. So, let's see what it says. Which would you like to remember? So here's the entire moveset that, that it can learn in the future, even though it's level one. And so I just think, I think it's all good. So Power Whip would be good and Grassy Train would be good. So let's start out with, although this is a female Tangela. So I think I am going to hold off on doing this just yet. I will do I, I will do this on the baby male. But as you can see, it doesn't have the other uh, egg moves that um, uh, Turtwig has. So that's the plan. Let's see. Um, Super Mario says you think that Munch lacks 100% in um, Sun and Moon also, but very low chance of finding Munchlax. Well, it's just that Munchlax has to be called in. I, I Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. It, you have to be on Route 1 in that area where Taurus breaks the rocks. Um, I actually found a shiny Munchlax there. It was crazy. I, it was just crazy. Let's see. Do you want to give up on having Tangilla? Yes. Because we're, we're going to come back here. All right. And uh, the other thing about Turtwig. So I'm, I've, I've, here we go. So these are the two, Leaf Streams and Leaf Storm and Seed Bomb. Why, why is that so hard to say? It's like a tongue twister. Okay. Holy cow. You just deposited Shiny Hound Doom for Gliscor. Oh, oh, oh. So <laughs> Dark Kingslayer. You got it, right? You, you got what you wanted. Good job. Good job. Um, so, I definitely, I, I can tell I must be tired because I am, like, slowing down. I know what I want to do. But, um, yeah, congratulations, Dark Kingslayer. Good, good job on that. Um, all right, let's get, let's get any junk out of here and put in our, our new pair. Okay, now, the only other thing I always do is I make sure that my breeding pair has been in Pokemon Refresh because that improves the RNG of the uh, breeding itself and they're both good I think I will give um, my Tangela a rainbow bean just to help it breed the best that it can uh, I don't know it's, it's funny when you discover that something works even if you can't you know verify that somebody else has found it or says the same thing if you know it works then you keep doing it, right? And that's that's what I'm doing here. All right. So here we go. Leave the Pokemon. So here is the Daddy Turtwig with great IVs, and we've gonna have Pokemon. More Pokemon. Tangela. Pokemon. Oh, you're still waiting for it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, Dark King. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. As I said, I'm uh, a little bit tired. 
but I'm gonna do this because we're we are coming into the home stretch with my game goals and my stream goals for tonight. Turtwig and Tangler are doing just fine. They seem to get along. Yes, they do. I'm gonna save here. Well, so Dark King Slayer, mm, I would say you sh you should get it within an hour. You know, I mean, usually Sunday nights there's a lot of people trading and wonder trading and GTS trading. So, you know, but if you don't get it right away, give it a good 24 hours. Because um, sometimes people just can't get on to trade and check the stuff that they're interested in. But I think you, you're making a really decent offer. When I put stuff on the GTS, I often just make the Pokemon hold something like a nugget or a pearl or, you know, just some extra thing I've got in my bag that um, somebody else would um, see as a benefit. Uh, if you're using Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, you could um, put a, a Rotom, um, one of the Rotom um, lottery uh, things that you get, like a Rotom hatch or something. Um, and that will draw attention to your, uh, your GTS trade. Um, as well as it being shiny. Just some tips. Okay, so we're picking up our eggs here, and uh, we should be getting some very cool tangalas, which we can then evolve um, into tangalas, a competitive tangrowth. At this point, for the tangrowth, I'm only um, going to put the moves on it and do the evolution. Um, I will I will grind for for uh, IV breeding IVs on the Tangrowth later, not in the stream tonight, because it's late for Granny. Granny wants to go to bed soon so she can play more games tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so there we go, more eggs, yay! And it would be cool if. The Tangela I make, the Tangela I make is a male because then I can use it for um, to be in a chain for for more um, more breeding other Pokemon with like the grassy terrain thing. I think is so much fun to be able to get onto Pokemon that um, could really use it. You know, the leak in some way um, when it comes to competitive battling. And the grassy train makes a huge difference. So, let me see how many I have. Okay. Uh, add it to my party. I don't think so. Let me see. No. We'll just send it to the box. And let's go hatch these guys. We're coming into the home stretch now. I'm going to show you how cool this all can be. <laughs> of course, I think it's all cool. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to save. We got a bunch of eggs. We're going to go hatch them up on Mount Lanakila because there's yet another thing we want to do. Um, well, I don't know if we actually need to go. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is something else we want to do. So let's, let's just do it. Okay, egg hatching time. Here we go. Running up and down the hill in the snow. Seems like one way to have your Pokemon give birth, get your eggs to hatch. They don't have to worry about the snow. They don't they don't feel cold. They've got their talon flame with them. Keeping them warm with its flame body. these eggs. Here's one. We'll hatch a bunch of them. We'll hatch these um, five. And then we'll just um, we'll pick the one with the best IVs and finish uh, getting its competitive moves on it. And then that'll be that for the for the night. Of course, I don't know. I can take 15 minutes, half an hour or less. Give Tangle a name. No. No names. Not yet. 
can always rename your Pokemon and get the right one. Okie doke, here we go. Here's another one. Well, they're hatching well. well. That's a good thing. I guess, you know, some Pokemon have more egg cycles and some have less. Um, so I, I am doing this uh, in Pokemon Sun. If I was doing it in Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, I would, uh, I would have used some Ro Rotom hatches to speed that all up. They work quite well and they last quite a long time. So uh, that's the one thing that I didn't demonstrate, but when you're um, doing competitive speed breeding, you definitely, um, if you're in Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, want to take advantage of those uh, Rotom hatches, uh, hatch powers or whatever they are. They're, they're really uh, efficient and easy to get. All right. Let me check and see if I've got them all hatched. No nickname at the moment. Okay, let's let's have a look. Okay, one more to hatch. We've got some males and some females, and that is just fine. Okay, last hatch. Coming, oh, coming into the home stretch. I know I keep saying that, but, you know, I, I plotted out, and I ended up with this big diagram of, of uh, which Pokemon had to be what gender to learn which moves in this um, breeding chain. And, and also, you know, when to put on the IVs. Now, what I haven't done, and what I'm not going to do tonight, is um, uh, breed for natures. Because uh, that, you know, that, that's always something you do last and that's sort of a no-brainer. Once you get the Pokemon of your of your dreams, uh, then then you can use a Ditto and just grind for um, grind for natures. So uh, here we go. Let's do the IV checker. So we've got four IVs. We've got four. We've got three. We've got four. Ugh. How about... This seems very silly. No, you know, all of these I, I would um, do a little more breeding uh, with, but for now I'm going to going to just wind this up because um, I want to get through demonstrating about uh, the moves. We all at this point know what to do. Um, Decent, pretty good. Okay, that's the, that's the four. Okay, so I'm going to throw these guys over here. Certainly filling up some boxes tonight. And let's check out this, this fine Tangela. So, uh, let's go back to my other screen setup. And let's have a look. Okay, so it's got Leaf Storm, which is which is good. Let's take it over before we evolve it and see if there are other moves we can put on it. Long forgotten move. On the Tangela, Super Mario. You doubt it would be. It, you doubt it, but wouldn't it be nice if having more than one flame body Pokemon in your team made these even faster? Uh, yes, uh, Super Mario. Yes, I have thought of that. I, I have, I have prayed for it. I've tried it. 
I don't know that it made any difference, <laughs> but that would be cool. That would be cool. Okay, so look, these are, oh yes. So, so here's how cool this is. The way, the way to evolve a tangela to a tangro, um, tangros, is to, it has to level up while it has ancient power. So you can just use the move relearner. I love it. Teach it ancient power. So you can literally have a level one tangela that, um, you know, you could give to somebody else and, and they could just level it up and, and have their ten growth. Now, let me just arrange these moves and the ones I care about, the ones I don't care about. I like Leaf Storm. I like uh, Ancient Power. I don't care about these other two. I do want to just look at one more, one more thing. I want to check this out one more time. Um, you know, if you want to add more than one move, you got to do it again. So I just want to do a quick review and see uh, what else um, my level one Pokemon can learn that I would want it to have. Uh, Ring Out is really cool. Grassy Train and Power Whip. Yes, I'll take it. I'll take them. I'll take them. I'll take them. And 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 then I'll just level it up and I'll have a level two Tangrowth with absolutely amazing competitive moves. And then I, you know, I can keep grinding for IVs and Nature's off offline, off stream. So. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted hours ago. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, one more. Here we go. Long forgotten move. Tangela. I discovered this. And, you know, it wasn't it wasn't on it wasn't on Sarabai.net. It wasn't anywhere that you could get these moves from the Heart Scale Lady. If you hadn't uh, leveled up or something. Power Whip. Yes. 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 <laughs> Definitely get the Power Whip. Super Mario approves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now. Give heart scale and thanks. So here's the deal. Here's my competitive baby. Or the the baby's cousin. We've got, oh yeah, let's go ahead and save our adventure. For all that work, yes, thank you. And let's go and look at our baby. Our very cool baby. A very cool baby. Uh, it's going to need ancient power uh, so it can level up in one move. Leaf Storm is... Uh, 130 power 130 special grassy terrain we know how cool that is and power whip 120 physical yeah yeah and and it has regenerator move so how cool is this in a competitive pokemon you would have regenerator it restores a little hp when withdrawn from battle and has grassy terrain um i mean I'm just, uh, I'm ecstatic here. The only other thing that it's really easy to forget, but I don't want to forget, is that before you ever level up a Pokemon, please give it at least one, for the love of, you know, Pokemon, give it at least one heart, but preferably a rainbow bean if you got one. Um... Oh, you've, so you've used Power Whip with your Delmise. Oh, 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 that, that is intriguing. I hadn't thought of that. I, that is very intriguing. That, that would be pretty intimidating. <laughs> Are you happy with it? I'm, I'm guessing you might be. Okay, here we go. Rainbow Bean for you. Yum, yum, yum. See? <laughs> Jumping around, a happy little tangela. It's all good in Tangela Land. Zappy, zappy, zappy. Okay. I'm just going to um, 
uh, we know the way rainbow beans work is when you get to a certain number of these enjoyment things, uh, a lot of times the rainbow bean will level you up. Just one bean will level you up one more time. Not always, but sometimes. Let's see, are we there? One more time, one more time. I could just give it another bean for crying out loud, but here it goes. Here it goes. Yeah, yeah. See, one rainbow bean. We got four hearts of affection, and we are ready to evolve this guy, which means it only needs to level up one. So where do you think we're going to go to do that? I'm going to root one <laughs> to see what is the minimum leveling up I can do to get this competitive um, moves tan growth. I just want to know and think outside the box. All right, let's go to Iki Town. Hey, Dubstep uh, TJ6, thanks for joining us tonight. We are we're getting to we're getting near the end of uh, breeding our um, competitive moves onto our uh, Pokemon. Super Mario, if you survive their attack, it's a great comeback. Oh, Power Whip. Yeah, because doesn't Power Whip um, lower your, um, it lowers your stats, right? That's, that's part of the trick. All right, so here I am about to uh, go to Route 1 and going to put my Level 1 Tangela with its awesome moves out front. And it's an awesome summary. There we go. Ancient power, that's all it needs. Tangela with ancient power to evolve. And I'm going to switch back to my upper screen here so people can look at this in a more traditional way. And here we go. What baby young Pokemon will help a Tangela reach its, its true destiny? It will be a Spinarak. <laughs> Here we go, Tangela, level one. It's level four, but I believe in you. Super effective, ancient power. Let's do it. <laughs> ancient power. Oh, it's going to be a struggle. My competitive baby. <laughs> Okay, special attack rose, defense rose, speed rose, yes! Ancient power is doing its stuff, but that's not what we necessarily have to use. But since it's a bug, we're not gonna bother with the uh, grassy terrain. Super effective. Okay, string shot. Oh no, this is, I totally forgot about this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, uh, dang it. <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to kill the one and then I'll run from the other. That's, as long as I don't die. I, I, I'm really just, um, want to see what's the minimum. Okay, good, good, all right. I don't think it can one-shot me. I'll just run from the other one, 77 points, and... Through to level two. All right, so then I'll evolve as soon as I run away. Here we go. Oh, we've got two levels. Oh, four. Oh my gosh, who who would have thought? You can just kill one level four Pokemon. And no, I don't want to learn anything else. Keep old moves. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Time to run. Got away safely. The time has come. Spinner act don't play. <laughs> this is the moment we've been waiting for. Getting our Tangela is evolving. Here it goes. This is the moment, the moment. Oh, congratulations, your Tangela evolved into Tangrowth. 
No, it's not going to learn these little beginner moves. Go away. Now that we know how awesome the heart scale is. All right. Shall we check this out? Shall we check it out? Here's my level four tan growth with da 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 da. Let's check out these moves. So we've got, we've got Leaf Storm. We've got Grassy Terrain. We've got Power Whip. And we have Ancient Power, which can be replaced with something else. So folks, <laughs> thank you for congratulations, Super Mario, because I am tired. That did take longer than I thought it would take, but you know, we, we are there. We are there. We've done it. Now, the thing is that um, 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 we could give it a nickname. If, there, if anyone feels really inspired with a nickname for Tangrowth, which in reality, I'll probably do more grinding, um, breeding, breed grinding on, an, um, on its IVs, but I've already demonstrated how to do that. Um, <laughs> it is scary. If you, if you, uh, look up, actually, I'm going to show, I'm going to show Tangrowth in just a minute. Uh, let's see. Name Raider. Nickname. What should we name it? Um, um, um. Tangrowth. What should we call it? So, so this is sort of, this is some kind of a, it's a grass poisony monster. It's like spaghetti. Um, I, I think I'm going to call it, this is, this is a terrible name. This is just being so s silly. I'm going to call it moldy spaghetti. <laughs> Holy spy Yes. <laughs> that doesn't seem right, does it? Uh, but you know. Are you gonna show off some of these Pokemon in battle on the stream? Yes, and I think I will battle um, with some of these guys in maybe a week and a half, a week, a week if I have it together. Um, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center here and save. Um, thank you so much for everyone joining my stream tonight. Please remember to uh, click the thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself and subscribe uh, Follow me on Twitter uh, all the links are in the description and We'll just do a nice little spin Alola Goodbye everyone